So this is what the Google Plus homepage looks like, and uh, bear with me because this is a pretty new piece of uh, technology, and I only have, as you can see, two friends here. Um, and so that's going to sort of, you know, put some limitations on what I can show you, but I can sort of show you uh, a little bit about what is possible uh, in terms of communication through Google Plus. So. Um, for my project, I'm having my students uh, organize all of their communication through Google+, and I'll show you why um, that's important. So once your students have a Google uh, profile, which often students do just from having Gmail accounts or, or what have you, um, their profile automatically links to their Google Plus account, and you can see it's sort of like standard. Um, standard profile kind of stuff but one of the interesting things is this is this plus ones thing it's it's sort of akin to facebook's like um aspect and basically what that lets you do is choose things that you uh, find interesting when you're out on the web which is the really amazing part so actually what you can see here is uh say for example my students are going to be uh you know addressing apartheid the apartheid in in art i actually already have that um, searched for here um, and this is their project so they find a page that they want to share with their friends uh, you can just click on this little plus one thing and um, what that does is it publicly puts that on your on your page so say you know like you just have that bookmarked sort of akin to the um, the Digo thing but say uh, that you want to actually have a conversation with your with your friends about it and say you have something that you um, that you want to share directly with with the group basically you just find an article whatever it is I don't even know what this article is to be honest with you and it's taking forever to load but um, say it has some information that they want to discuss or that, or that they think that it will add to um, their understanding of of apartheid for their project then all they need to do is copy the link and then go back to their Google Plus account and then share that link um, with the people in their feed and basically the way that you uh, that you manage who you're sharing things with in Google Plus is you choose which um, which which circles you want to share things with and so say over here you have your the people who are your friends you have the people who are your family of the people through your acquaintances you can actually um, make a new circle and that's what I'll have my students do so for now I'm just gonna go ahead and well this isn't working anyway but um, say we'll go to our circles and and what we would do basically is um, and I don't know any of these people so basically it's just gonna be fun because uh, these people are going to get notifications that I'm following them, but I'm not. Um, so let's say, you know, this is for our project. And what I would do is I would have um, my students add just the people that are doing their project with them uh, to the project, and then also me as their teacher to be in this project. And then what you can do when you do find that link, which, like I said, wasn't working, instead of sharing it with your friends, you share it with the people that are in your project. And then from there, when that, um, when that gets shared, you can make comments about you know, things. So this is sort of like akin to the, um, to the annotations portion of Digo. And, uh, and what's nice is that as a teacher, I would be able to see their comments on that. And also, if you just go down here to the project portion, both all of my links that I posted to the people in my projects um, group, my circle, show up there, but also anything that anyone else within the, the, the circle posts as well. So it'll be a really nice way to just sort of streamline all the things that are important to your students um, and, and filter out all of the things from their other school friends or from their family or things like that. Um, so another thing that you can do, and like I said, just because I have only two people that I know in this, uh, in this profile, uh, what you can do is chat, and this is like a text chat, you can chat with, with the people, whatever, you know, these, I think those are the only, no, these two. Um, so you can chat with these people, you basically type out messages, and that actually saves to your Gmail database in the chat. So what I would have it, my students do is do the chat to talk about their, dis, to, to discuss you know, articles and things like that, and then actually forward me the transcript of the, of the chat so that I can know that they were doing it. 
and um, and say for example the students wanted to uh, have a have a webcam party sort of like in in Skype then what they would do is they'd go to this start a hangout thing and uh, and you can have a group webcam thing you see me sort of talking on uh, talking on my little microphone here um, but you, you see you can have uh, up to I think 10 other people um, in a group webcam situation so I think it's a pretty good way to organize communication and uh, and since it syncs throughout all of the Google products um, in that your contacts within Google Plus are also contacts on um, on Gmail it makes it really easy to sort of share that interaction with me as a teacher or with other people and it also you know kind of makes an makes a um, make sort of an archive of, of communication and also, uh, you know, the the links that people liked and things like that. So uh, that's pretty much a really quick um, overview of what Google Plus looks like. And uh, and I think it's a pretty good way to to organize communication and to and to share the knowledge.